my name is Helen Owens, and welcome to the She Compass Show, the show that helps you navigate your life. And today I have as my captain, Nancy Addison, who is going to teach us a lot about uh, navigating, I would say, treacherous waters uh, <laughs> through the life um, that we can live a better life and a more healthy life, which we all know our health is most important. So, hey, Nancy, how are you today? Hi, Helen. Thank you for having me on the show. Oh, I'm just thrilled to be here. My pleasure. Um, I like to start off with, uh, you know, talking about, I have so many great questions for you because you do so many wonderful things for women and teaching them how to take care of themselves. You're doing that for me right now, which I, the gratitude, I just can't tell you uh, how much I appreciate you in my life as a, as a sister, a soul sister. And as a woman helping me to navigate some parts of my life that I need a lot of help with. So let's first talk about your wonderful books. Um, I'm not really sure which one to talk about first. You've written so many great books with so much uh, research. So uh, can you elaborate a little bit on some of that? Yes, uh, I've written books basically about what I know. <laughs> so I'm just sharing information I've researched over the last 30 years. And I had become a vegetarian 30 years. And so my first book, and the one that's also in second edition, is How to Be a Healthy Vegetarian. Oh, and uh, so, so this one, this one's it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that book. <laughs> and this is the one I had uh, when I met you at the Green Book Awards out in San Francisco. Oh, yeah, when we won our award. That was my first award, and um, that was uh, one of many that you have. So um, I was so happy, and it's a God blessing that I met you. Um, can we talk a little bit about, um, you know, I wanted to elaborate on some things that I'm going through personally and some things that you are helping me with. Um, let's talk about sciatica, first of all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which can be really painful. Oh, my. Yeah, very and, painful. And uh, since I had scoliosis all my life, uh, I can totally associate with that and empathize with you on having back pain and that can just be debilitating and very hard to live with yeah and working through all of that um, is really hard and you know you're helping me right now um, to um, navigate my way through uh, being a sugar head and uh, eating better and associating better foods with it as well um, I think that's what book do you think would be the best for that? Because um, you have so many great books. I really think Diabetes in Your Diet is a really good book to help people get started in reversing disease. Because even though it's Diabetes in Your Diet and it addresses diabetes very specifically, it also addresses cancer and heart disease and really um, autoimmune disease and different diseases because what will help uh, reverse the disease diabetes would also help reverse the other diseases because I really believe it's a combination of quality of your food, quality of your lifestyle, and the quality of how healthy your environment is. Yeah, and you know, I was just uh, thinking about some things. Um, I am a person who has never even had a drink in my life. And um, when I experienced the sciatica, I was prescribed um, some various medicines. I was, uh, let's see, I was prescribed gabapentin and I was prescribed Noracol and Motrin and uh, this other pill. I really can't think of the name of it, but it's a muscle relaxing pill. And I was told to take them all at one time and I could not function for two days. I, you know, I took them all at one time and uh, I'm not really sure if the, if it did a lot for the pain, but it really put me out of it. And at that point I said, this is not for me. I, I totally understand what you're saying because I, uh, the very first part of my life, I had struggled with a lot of different health problems and I had been prescribed pharmaceutical medications and what 
I've learned over the years is that they don't cure what you have, but they mask the symptoms and they just kind of keep you at that place. But also many of them are, have side effects and Dr. Bruce Lipton, who is a medical researcher who used to work at Stanford University Medical School, uh, he says there's no such thing as side effects and to not kid yourself. He, he told me, he said, there, there are direct effects, Nancy. Any of these drugs, they have direct effects. So some of the common uh, side effects of gallopentin, for instance, is uh, clumsiness, uh, un, uh, continuous uncontrolled back and forth rolling eye movements, uh, anxiety, depression, uh, a false sense of well-being, um, also mm -hmm. restlessness and uh, chest pains, chills, coughs, depression. Mm -hmm. Oh, I already said that one. Loss of memory, <laughs> yeah. um, pain, painful urination, sore throat, mm -hmm. swollen glands. You know, Sometimes I think so many times they prescribe drugs and the side effects are worse than what you're trying to trying to deal with. Well, yeah, I noticed that in the commercials. Um, they will say something about a medication and they'll say all these horrible side effects. And I'll say, well, what is the real benefit of taking that if it has all these horrible side effects um, and you're taking it to it seems like to solve one problem and it's causing another problem. So. Yeah. We're all trying to get more healthy. We're all trying to figure it out. It, it's not easy to figure out how to do it. But I, I, I swear, you know, talking to you and um, listening to some of your coaching that you do, it, it sure makes it a lot easier. It seems like I have a partner, you know. I'm your cheerleader for sure. <laughs> I'll help you through it. And we'll just take baby steps because... Yeah, you just have to do a step at a time in order to reach your goal. Because yeah. if you try to do everything at once, sometimes it can get overwhelming and you can get confused. And, and if something's not working and you're doing a whole bunch of new things, you don't know which one may not may not be working for you. Yeah. And so um, so I my whole premise is that you go to the heart of the matter, what's causing this problem? Like what's causing your back pain? What's causing this sciatica? And I will just tell real briefly my story so that you can kind of understand where I am. But okay, uh, I'm from Texas. And when I was two, my pediatrician gave me an overdose of penicillin. And mm. I ended up in the hospital and they told my parents I was not going to survive. And after weeks of blood transfusions and bone marrow tests and things like that, I, thank you, God, uh, I survived. But I had acute anemia because of that. I also was diagnosed with scoliosis later in my life. And my own thoughts on this are, when they were doing those bone marrow tests back then without any kind of anesthetic, mm. it, for a two-year-old child, you know, that would be very painful and you would, you would, you know, jerk yes. or you would, you know, try to compensate for this pain. And what I've learned is then your muscles tighten up somewhere else mm. and that pulls your, you know, your, your backbone's already getting a little bit out of alignment and those muscles cause it to do this or that, and then you compensate more, and it may pull your backbone more out of alignment. And as a child, because your your body is, all the organs and your bones are still forming at that, in, until you're 22. And so what my chiropractor has has taught me as well is that my my backbone never got adjusted to be straight again and so it grew in this curved way so that i had scoliosis wow. and then because of the acute anemia i had as a child as a result of this penicillin overdose I craved anything that would give me energy. So sugar became my food of choice and I became a sugar addict. And then by high school, I had pre-diabetes. And then my eye doctor told me that I was going blind. So I had macular degeneration, which also goes along with the diabetes. And back then, and I'm 63 now. So back then, 
however long that was, you know, 50 years ago, 45 years ago, I had, my doctors weren't talking to each other. So nobody told me that, that the eye problem, my eyesight problem was, you know, in line with the diabetes. Right. And then my doctor told me to take synthetic sugar instead of regular sugar. He said it was better for me. And so I became a sugar-free soda addict. And going into college, you know, I started drinking more caffeine to stay up late and study and do things like that. Mm. So by the time I was in my late 20s, I was still pre-diabetic. I still had acute anemia. I had developed all kinds of other health problems along with that, along with the still losing my vision. And I had carpal tunnel so broad. I had to wear braces on both my wrists. I had acid reflux. I had serious headaches. And I got married in my late 20s and then got pregnant 13 months apart and had two children. Wow. So I doing everything the doctor told me to do. I was going regularly and they of course had me on various pharmaceutical drugs back then. Well, my father had had a heart attack while I was in college and he had survived that, but I had lost other family members to heart disease. And then when my son was one year old, my father was diagnosed with cancer. And I uh, was standing over my son's bed one night, and my sister called and told me that my father had passed away. Wow. And I just had that light bulb moment where I realized, you know, he was younger than I am now. And I'm 63. And I realized he wasn't going to see his grandchildren grow up. And I just thought to myself, we've all been doing my whole family. We've been going to the doctor regularly, doing what they told us to do. Yeah. Nobody was getting well and wow. people were dying. And at about the same time, my own personal doctor died of cancer. Mm -hmm. And I just said, I'm doing something different. I just threw all this stuff out the window. I got a new doctor, Dr. Jane Gross. And I told her, I said, I'm going to research nutrition. I am going to use food as my medicine. I just want you to take my blood once a year and tell me where I am. Because I, you know, wanted to make sure I was doing the right things. And I didn't know really anything about this. And I told my pediatrician basically the same thing. And it was about this time I picked up a copy of Life magazine. And it had a very comprehensive article in it on the new farming practices where they were raising animals in these concentrated areas like confined areas that where they had no movement no fresh air no sunshine did not healthy food and they were giving them these hormones to fatten them up faster and because of the inhumane unhealthy conditions they were having to give the animals huge amounts of antibiotics in order just to keep them alive long enough to kill them. Oh, no. And they, this article had graphic pictures in it. And I'm a huge animal lover. Oh, and me too. I looked at those pictures and I just was horrified that anybody would even do this kind of thing to any creature, much less hundreds and thousands of them mm -hmm. and um and it talked about the horrible health problems that the hormones could give people it talked about the antibiotics which of course knocks out your immune system and and people don't really realize but the largest buyer of antibiotics in the world are farmers and wow. uh, I looked at this, finished this article, and I just simply didn't want to be a part of that anymore. And I just turned to my husband and I said, okay, we're going vegetarian. <laughs> and I'm going to raise the children this way. And, um, and yeah. he was like, well, okay. <laughs> yeah, of course. I think many people probably would not want to be a part of that, but people don't understand things until they kind of hear them in real time. And then they understand that because I'm an, a huge animal lover too. And, you know, I've elected to um, start taking better care of myself and uh, elected you to be my coach because you're great and you've done so many wonderful things and you, you have all the research and, um, you know, 
I, the thing I love about you is that everything that you suggest, you've done. So you're not suggesting anything to anybody that you haven't done uh, for yourself and tried on yourself. So that's a wonderful thing because yeah. most doctors out there are not going to take these drugs that they're prescribing. And I, I, I personally think that, you know, in the medical industry, there's so much money made because um, when you do your research, aren't we like way down on the totem pole on taking care of people's health? We're just kind of throwing a pill at everything, right? Right. And the pills don't cure. They, they basically maintain whatever it is you have. And they do have those different, definite side effects. And some of the drugs, and, and this is through working with various clients and things, I've learned that various drugs actually cause other diseases. So then they give you more drugs and more drugs. And it's not uncommon for me to get people who come to me for health counseling who, who may be on literally even 15 various medications. Yes. And most definitely. And, uh, that sounds like my mom. She takes a lot of medications for a lot of different things. And uh, this is going to be great for her too. And um, reading your books and going through your books and having you help both of us um, is going to create a much healthier lifestyle for both of us and give us more longevity in our lives instead of, you know, kind of counter, like, as you say, you counteract one thing with one thing, and then you go to another thing. And wouldn't we want to all be proactive? Because in my field, I see so many sick women. I see so many women who are coming in with cancer and other various diseases that are directly related to the foods they eat. Yes. And what, what I've learned over the years and, and what I started finding out as I changed my diet and raised my children is, you know, my, my acute anemia went away almost immediately, which really surprised everybody because they thought going on a plant-based diet would be terrible for someone with acute anemia, but that that was you know, proven false. And then my prediabetes went away, and the acid reflux disappeared almost overnight. And the carpal tunnel syndrome—I don't even think about it anymore. Wow. And my own personal doctor, who had told me when I first told her my plan, she had said, "Nancy, they don't teach us nutrition in medical school, so I'll try my best to help you, and I'll do the blood test, but." you know, I'm coming along for the ride, basically. And um, she became one of my biggest fans. And uh, she retired about 18 years ago. And uh, she had referred many, many clients to me. But uh, I haven't even bothered to get a new doctor since because I never get sick. And it never even occurs to me that oh, see, I ladies. Uh, see, ladies, today on the She Compass show, I have one of the best kept secrets. Uh, all of us women uh, always say we take care of ourselves last. That's one of our biggest problems being a woman. We take care of our families. We take care of our kids. We take care, you know, some of us are health care providers for our parents like me. I take care of my mom. And sometimes, you know, you run around, you're stir crazy and you're working and you're doing this and you're do doing that. And then you're last and you're the one that's... Uh, you know, being affected. And if you don't take care of you first, yeah. then you cannot take care of anybody. I, I had a, a lady say, you know, when, if a plane is going to go down, the first thing they're going to say is they're not going to say, you know, put that over, mask over someone else's face. They're going to say, put it over your face because you have to breathe first before you can help anybody. Right. right. So um, what you're doing is wonderful because um, you're like this the best kept secret that women really need to know about and know about all these fabulous books that they can benefit from. And plus you are a health coach, right? Yes. Yes. I, so. I counsel people all over the world and I, I love that. That's one of my biggest passions is connecting with people and helping them to really change their life for the better and reverse diseases and, and it just have, have a, a more positive, happy life. And, well, you're, you're uh, definitely giving that to me. <laughs> I, I mean, I give the lifeline to everybody else. I, you know, we always say hair is your crown and glory, and so is your health. You know, your health is also your crown and glory because you have to be healthy because it all starts from a healthy plan. And I'm just so happy to be connected with you. It was a blessing that we met at that uh, book award, the best thing that came out of that book award. 
was you. And I, I'm just like elated and feel so blessed that you're in my life and you're able to help coach me into having a better life for myself. And as we say, you know, without saying my, my whole age, as we can say, <laughs> once you pass 50, <laughs> <laughs> I just say, once you pass 50, uh, it seems like things kind of break down a little bit more. You have a harder time getting things done. And so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much like you. I had two children. They're 16 months apart. So, you know, now being a grandmother, being that my son's 40, my daughter's 39, and I have grandchildren and everything, I want to be able to still run and play with them. And plus, I still have a, a great uh, career in front of me. I still want to work for a long time. I, I love what I do. I love helping women. And, you know, it's just so wonderful that what you do coincides so greatly with what I do. It's like a blessing because so many of my women come in and the conversations that I have with them, I now know and figured it out quite some time ago that people need to change the way they think about food because so much of it is through what we're eating because when they say you are what you eat, it's really true. And from a past sugar head talking to a previous sugar <laughs> head right here, sugar head, sugar head, yeah. um, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a challenge. And um, what I did find out from you in one of our conversations is, is that sugar is more addicted than heroin? Is that true? Yes. It, it quite literally acts in our body like a drug and it can be so addictive. And depending on the type of sugar, it can be more addictive or less addictive. It can also cause cancer and feed cancer. It can also actually, certain types of it can actually um, make your body unable to make insulin so it can cause diabetes and just one teaspoon of sugar can shut down your immune system for five hours oh and so you know it it is in so many different foods that people buy today and they don't realize that if they were just aware of certain certain types of things like what different sugars do that they can they can actually avoid those and their health will benefit greatly well and so, yeah. sometimes we just have to go cold turkey off of some of them and uh to kind of get off of the addictive part of it and i know that sounds hard but uh, when i work with people i don't believe in depravity i don't think that's good for us so i always give people steps or things to do in instead of doing that so yes. that they get healthier and they don't have those cravings and they don't have the withdrawal symptoms like you would from yes yes you're right and 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 it works and let me tell you um i like to bring up the part about the toxins if we could um we talked about detoxing and um how that affects us could you give us could you elaborate on that a little bit Sure. I mean, after World War II, they just kind of went crazy around the world, inventing all these chemicals and using all these toxic chemicals in our environment. So our, our earth has become a toxic place. And so as we get them into our body, even just by breathing air or, or drinking uh, water that has chlorine and fluoride in it from the tap or uh, various cleaning products that just go straight to your bloodstream through your skin, things like that are, are you know, pesticides that they put on things. Those go straight to your nerves and can cause nerve damage. And I think one of the things that makes me different about being a nutritionist or a health counselor is that uh, I'm also very much uh, knowledgeable about different things in the environment. And I was married to an environmental trial lawyer for 23 years. I became very aware of genetically modified food, chemical fertilizers and pesticides and the different types of health problems that those could cause. And so as we get exposed to these toxins, and you and I were talking about this in, in 
reference to weight because when I had oh. my babies, I gained a whole lot of weight and I made about 50 pounds more than I do now. And for wow. someone who's five foot two, know. that's that's an enormous amount of weight for your body to carry. Yes. And uh, what I found is as I ate a cleaner diet and <clears throat> a healthier diet, I was able to lose those pounds without even thinking about it. And it, just, it was almost like it fell off. From my research, what I've found is that when we get these toxins in our body from various for various reasons or places, our body protects us from those toxins by surrounding them with fat, fat right? So oh, yeah. it's not able to harm you because your body loves you <laughs> so much. It does all these things to really help you. And so, so many people find that they can't lose this weight and uh, a lot of people, especially around the middle, and what I found is that until they lose some of these toxins or be able to flush some of these toxins out of their body, when they, they won't be able to lose it because when once you start flushing the toxins out of your body, then you're able, your body just goes, oh, don't need this fat anymore, right? Doesn't need yes. to hold on any toxins anymore. Mm -hmm. So you just start, it's, I, and I've had so many clients and I, you know, I slowly just start them on a new diet that's cleaner, healthier food. And they'll be like, Oh my gosh, Nancy, I lost seven pounds this week. And I didn't even try. I mean, I'm just wasn't hungry or anything. And, and they're always amazed that uh, I just, I don't believe in putting people on a diet per se, yes. because then your subconscious automatically starts thinking that you're going to deprive it and it will start sabotaging you. And so I like to say, you know, okay, we're on a new healthy lifestyle plan and we're just going to just start putting these wheels in motion and we'll just take baby steps and put a few things into alignment. And before you know it, people's blood tests are coming back so terrific or, you know, having more energy and they're feeling better and, and they realize all of a sudden they're, their weight is getting better and they, they haven't been trying. And so it's not a fad diet. It's actually a healthy lifestyle that is, you know, as you do it, it can become more and more comfortable because as we do things that it becomes, you know, something we're used to and you don't even have to think about it anymore. It's very it? empowering. Yes, it is. And that's what we're giving today um, on this show, on the She Compass show. Woman empowerment is so important. And this is worth more than money. It's worth more than gold. Our health is um, is our wealth. If we are not healthy, we can't work. We can't uh, function. Um, if we're not eating better and taking better care of ourselves, it is a commitment. It's hard when you've been doing things a certain way for such a long time, but um, everyone I talk to, um, I've never heard someone say, I don't want to be healthy. Uh, people people want to be healthy. Uh, people want to be fit. Uh, people want to look good. They want to feel good. And this is just a lifestyle change that would be perfect for all of you women out there. And the, And let me tell you, the books, the books are wonderful. They're like your own guy. She speaks to you. It's not like a book where you read those books and it's kind of like, okay, this and this and this. No. Nancy speaks to you. She says, look, I'm right here with you. Uh, this food does this. This food does that. It's very explanatory and it's great and it's wonderful. And, um, you know, hey, I'm, I'm the biggest advocate um, because it's changing my life. She's changing my life. And she's such a wonderful, warm spirit a gift. So um, I just want to add that in there and say that um, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. And we all need to get with this and take better care of ourselves and get off the medications and the toxins and, um, you know, just uh, spiritually just get with ourselves and take care of ourselves as women so we can live longer, healthier lives. Um, Nancy, could you tell me a little bit about the book we won our award for, which was very wonderful. Um, that's how I uh, met this beautiful woman, a spiritual sister, that uh, uh, we won our book awards together. And uh, this is how this all came about. And then I was able to get her as my health coach and start helping me have a better 
way of taking care of myself, eating, uh, you know, the whole gamut. And she's such a, a good friend. So when she's your coach, she's your friend, you know, because she's a good, good lady. So could you tell us a little bit about that book? Because I think that one's very important. Thank you. You're well, welcome. the whole first part of it really explains by chapter different things that I think are really important just for good health. So there's a chapter on cleansing, a chapter on protein, a chapter on healthy fats, uh, a whole chapter on sugar and what are the best choices and how do you handle different, different types of things and what really to avoid. And so the whole first half is really kind of like here. I've been, I've had people call it the health Bible. And, and oh, then this, wow, yeah. that's funny because I call mine the hair Bible. We tell you everything <laughs> you need to know about hair. And that's so wonderful because, you know, we've both been in the business for a very long time, over 30 years. So the experience in giving people the experience of, you, you know, you can get in a book 35 years of research and 35 years of someone just gathering everything for you. You don't not have the work to do. The only thing you have to do is follow the program. Well, and then I think people, after they are learning all this, they need to be able to put it into action. So oh, yeah, second, yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely. You have to so, put it in action. So the second part of my book is recipes so that you can actually start making food for yourself and your family that is healthier and, and implements the, the different aspects that I talk about for healthy fats and healthy proteins and how to prepare them. And having studied at Cordon Bleu in London and Chinese gastronomy, and I studied uh, uh, Mediterranean food in Greece, I, what I did is I started experimenting with ingredients, and I found that healthy eating really can be delicious. And you know, there are healthy ways to make a healthy, delicious cookie and, and things like that. So you can still have your wonderful ceremonies and your wonderful big meals for the holidays, but you can use it, use different ingredients that make it healthier for y'all and create optimum health instead of destroying it. You know, so many times we look at the holidays and people are we're having to recover in January from, oh, from what yeah. they've eaten. And yeah. that doesn't have to be the case. Yeah. Uh, and then at the end of the book, I put in resources. So, you know, how do you do healthy grocery store shopping? How do you do healthy body care products? What do you stock in your refrigerator? What does Nancy buy? <laughs> like, am I never going to be able to have Mexican food again? I said, no, you can't have Mexican food. <laughs> You can have your cake and eat it too, but you can look great and you can feel better and you can uh, get off a lot of those medications. I know uh, with my clients, there's a lot of people on medications that they really wish that they could get off if they could find a way. So ladies today, I'm telling you, we found the way through Nancy Addison. Um, she's found the way for us and made it very easy for us to follow a program that will help us navigate those treacherous waters and um, come out as captains like her. I, I want to be like her, um, you know, and so I'm following this program and I, you guys know I wouldn't suggest anything that uh, is not helpful, but this is really a lifestyle change. Um, and if we can, if we can do it one way, we can learn to do it another way. I know it's hard. I know you, you just, you know, you want to drive through that drive through and you want to get that fast food and you just want to keep going. But there are simple ways to make your food just as fast as that. And you're healthy and you don't have to have the side effects of all of it because I'm a bit tired of all those side effects. And, um, you know, you are what you eat and we do wear it. We wear it, whether we know it or not, we wear it. And um, I just think that it would be better for us to be healthy, healthy. It's all about health, health, health. <laughs> right, right, Nancy, being healthy. <laughs> right. And we do. We just get into these habits. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I was in those habits. Too, so I I totally understand you know changing <laughs> changing habits and uh, and so that's something that uh, I I really do even talk about that in my book you know how do you how do you switch off of this and 
So many of these things they do add to processed foods and fast foods that you get through your car window have addicted chemicals added to them that are legal. Mm. And so if people are craving certain foods and, and still feeling hungry, a lot of times it is the chemicals that they add to the food that's causing these cravings, but then you're also eating empty food. So your body's starving to death. Yes. And it's just, it's a vicious cycle and it's, it is easier to get off of it than you think. And I I'll reiterate again, you just have to change the way you think about certain things. And mm. should I tell the story about Larry Hagman, Helen? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think that's very important for you to tell. And, and right before you tell that story, what I, what I want to say is the wonderful thing, because it, it, the transition was hard for me, but the wonderful thing, the thing that I value the most is that Nancy already did the work. Cause I kept trying to figure it out. I was like, well, how do you eat healthy? Really? Because after eating so badly for such a long time, you think, wait a minute, fried chicken? I mean, you want me to give up fried chicken? Fried chicken? And like they say, you know, I'll say it again, that sandwich is a sandwich, but a man which is a meal. So you're thinking <laughs> you're not going to be able to have this great stuff. But you do stop thinking about it when you feel better. So yes, you need to tell that story, Nancy, please. Well, I grew up in Texas, so I grew up very much like you. And uh, of course, we always had barbecue and fried chicken and yes. chicken and dumplings. And if that meat wasn't in our plate, you know, that wasn't a meal. Mm -hmm. And so I did have to deal with changing patterns. So the story of, of working with Larry Hagman when he had throat cancer and diabetes he had really, he's from Texas and he was J.R. Ewing in the show Dallas. I don't know. One of my favorite that. shows. I waited for <laughs> I was, Dallas to come on every week. Uh, Larry was, Hagman was a man you love to hate. <laughs> yeah. and he was such a sweetheart uh, yeah. when I worked with him. And he really struggled with sugar addiction and he had been an alcoholic and gotten a liver transplant 16 years prior to me working with him as his nutritionist and chef. And he still had that sugar addiction. And so he was seriously ill and I put him on a very, very strict diet because it was imperative that he get his blood work under control and get his body back in shape. Or, and he was 81. So he was, very much uh, in need of making immediate change. And so he had struggled with avoiding the, on the TV show set, they always had these big tables filled with sugar and refined muffins and cookies and things like that. So finally one week he, he had been so tough and he had not gone there. He had not eaten anything. He hadn't cheated on his diet and he came home and I was, serving him dinner and he said he had a blood test that was better than he had had in 16 years mm. and I'd only been working with him about two weeks now and he says do you want to know how I did it and I was like yes <laughs> yes and he said I'm an actor and I pretended I was in a movie and I had to be had to eat this food and that's how I did it. And I just thought that was absolutely brilliant. Wow. And as I thought about that through the years and worked with my clients who are struggling with changing their habits is our, our whole life is our movie. We are living our movie and we are the star of our movie, but we're also the script writer and the director mm -hmm. and the set people, yes. <laughs> and the costume designers. That's <laughs> right. We are. I mean, we're the makeup artists. We're the, uh, we create hair. I mean, we are the actor every day. We have to act our way through life if you really think about it, because sometimes, especially when you're not feeling well, when you're not feeling well and you still have to deal with your everyday activities, you still have to work. You're really acting your way through that because even if you don't feel well, it's not like you can just drop everything because you don't. So in, if you're out there and you're, um, you know, going to pick up one of Nancy's books, you can actually act your way through life and feeling better and not really be acting about it after a while. You can just drop out of that, you know, and <laughs> just really feel better. So that is such great advice because um, as I always say, 
uh, from the She Compass show, we have to be commanders and captains of our own ship. And now we can be actors and actresses of our own ship by getting out there and getting these books because the information in them, uh, listen, I, if I could stand and scream from the rooftops and say how good this is and how it will change your life, I, I, I would. But I'm speaking to all of you ladies out there and gentlemen and just saying that um, this is a great thing. Um, this, this was a, a blessing for me, a rare, a rare find. I was like, wait, what did this lady win her book award for? Uh, let me see that book. Um, I need this in my life. I need her in my life. And so I think we all need some Nancy in our life and we all need these books because it's going to change things. And that's what the She Compass uh, show is all about. Uh, helping women navigate their life and living better lives doing it. So, Nancy, I think you are a superstar in your own show. And I just think you're fabulous. And I love the things that you do and to help uh, all of us with our health. And, you know, that has to, it, and I know you, it's coming from your heart. And that's the thing I love because it's, it's all of you, just like with me when I do hair, it, I'm giving you all of me. I really love my people. I love trying to help people and trying to make people feel better. And this is just an added addition to what I do. I love that you can fix them health wise and I can help fix them spiritual wise. And it all goes together because when you have all that, that whole package as one, you feel good. So um, ladies out there, trust me, we can get off the pills. If you're taking any pills for sciatica and things like that, or you may be going through the change, you may be going, you know, I am just going to sell it, girl. I'm going to tell you, you need some Nancy in your life. So that's what we need to do. Um, Nancy Addison, I want to thank you for being a part of the She Compass show today. You have blessed us all with your wisdom in, in these beautiful books. And can you tell us how to get in touch with you and take your time? Because it's, it's hard for me. Yes, and, and, and my whole program is going to the root of the matter and, you know, fixing whatever it is that it's causing a problem instead of just masking it. But my website is organichealthylife.com. And uh, you can contact me there if you have any questions. And... Uh, there's a lot of people named Nancy Addison, including an actress that used to be in a, a soap opera. So if you Google Nancy Addison, sometimes I have a G, uh, like great, uh, in the between Nancy and Addison, like on Instagram or uh, I think on t Twitter or something is Nancy G Addison. So that I'm more unique but on facebook it's uh, nancy addison organic healthy life and then my website organichealthylife.com and we had talked about your sciatica and i was telling about my scoliosis but you know there is a supplement that i've been taking that helps get rid of pain in joints and in different parts of your body and it helped my mom with her bursitis and and um, so i just believe in really using things that actually address the original problem and take care of that so that you aren't just living on like pain pills or something, which I, you know, I don't think is really healthy and they can be addictive and they can cause, you know, other problems. Well, so, yeah. well look uh, at, uh, they, they just uh, recently talked about that there's a big epidemic with that going on right now where people are becoming addictive to uh, meta, uh, the, uh, I think it's a mostly Norco and things like that. And mm -hmm. basically committing suicide and not always on purpose because people are overtaking these medications and basically every day there's someone dying from that. And so we have to try to find a natural way to get ourselves healthy and uh, I was talking to you about my mom's fibromyalgia. She has that, and there's no cure for that. And uh, this drink seems to really be helping. So um, I, I'm hoping that you share that as well. And I will be right. taking mine every day. And uh, just natural, a natural way of living. Um, and I did want to touch on one more thing. You are 
such an environmentalist. So I forgot to hit on that part. So could you talk a little bit about that? <laughs> well, I, um, I am very much a believer that we are a part of this earth and we are all connected and that all of the things in the environment also directly affect us. And so, you know, being a certified wildlife rehabilitator and being a part of the Earth Society, I was secretary uh, of the Earth Society at the, affiliated with the UN, I've just be become aware, and I think that's why uh, a lot of my health information is, is set, up, set apart from a lot of people who just go to school and learn nutrition because, you know, the the nutrition schools are set up to learn how to prescribe. They're funded by the dairy and the meat industry so that they are taught to prescribe certain things. Whereas I'm kind of a renegade and I've, <laughs> I've been putting pieces of the puzzle together that is outside of the realm of what the pharmaceutical companies or, or these dairy, dairy and meat industries wanted me to teach people. And so now, I've put together programs that uh, I think really do help address certain uh, diseases and problems that is actually more effective and uh, isn't reliant on the pharmaceutical drugs. But, you know, I've learned a lot working with animals about people's nutrition. And uh, in fact, one of my things was I was a tube feeding expert for possums <laughs> before wow. before I started working with Larry Hagman and when he had throat cancer, I developed a tube feeding tube recipe for him that was just fantastic for him and he just thrived on it. So one of my books is a, a feeding tube recipe book for people who had wow. made that kind of thing. So it's, it's just the, the you know various things that can they're all it's all tied together the toxins in the environment and uh, the food quality and so my books really do address the environmental aspects of our food yes. and 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 since our food and what we eat becomes our blood our cell and our tissue it directly impacts our health and our well-being. So, you know, well, that's all always, right Yeah, that's great. You know what? I've always said that um, with hair, too. Um, I think that it's environmental. Um, after you've been doing hair for 35 years for women with hair loss, and you witness different types of hair loss than you've ever seen, um, and the doctors are not really able to diagnose it, to say it's one thing or the other, or it's from one thing or the other. It's either stress-related, thyroid problem, uh, alopecia, lupus, cancer. But there are certain types of hair loss now that you don't know what the reason is for. And the women are getting younger and younger. And I would like to think it's in the environment. I, I say it's environmental because there are some strange things happening around environment and uh, the air we breathe, the water we drink, um, just everything. And it's, it's super sad because we, I think we're being lied to. Well, and I think we're bombarded with false advertising that tells us, for instance, that soy is good for us or that, you know, we should be uh, having certain things like, you know, they talk about, oh, we have to have protein in our diet. And what you, what I, my research shows is that the, the dairy, the meat and the chicken industry hired uh, the same advertising companies as the tobacco industry did to bombard us with this information that we needed protein oh, wow. and the studies come out now and show that it's not the protein we need it's the complex amino acids which are prevalent in plant-based foods and that the more animal creature protein you eat in fact from the china study uh, t colin campbell uh, his research shows irrefutably that when your diet gets over 10% of creature protein, meaning anything including dairy, eggs, chicken, fish, all of the creature proteins act differently in our body than plant-based proteins. And that after if your diet is over 10% of those, then tumors form and wow. people would get ill. And the this latest survey by USC medical school of 6,000 people across America 
between the age of 50 and 65 found that the people with the highest amount of protein intake from creatures, and that included chicken and fish and dairy and eggs and things like that, uh, were 70% more likely to die of any disease. More, mm. Four times more likely to die of cancer and five times more likely to die of diabetes. And so we've been bombarded with wrong and false information for the last 50 years concerning protein. And so what, what I've found is that these plant-based diets are what reverse disease. In the 90s, Dr. Dean Ornish and Dr. Esselstein doing separate studies uh, in, in clinical, uh, well-documented ways proved that a plant-based diet will reverse and heal heart disease in the effects. So we've had a cure for heart disease since the 90s. And then they've also been proving that it you know, will we'll do things for cancer. And then also diabetes in your diet, uh, my book has the program in it that, you know, if you follow the, that plan, you can be off, you can really reverse that. And I know this because I did it. Because you did it. And that's the thing I love about you. you. You don't talk about anything you haven't done. And you don't, I mean, you've been successful at it. So there's the proof. And uh, you're, you're telling us all out here today how we can do it and how we can live our best lives. And isn't that what we all want? Any age. It doesn't matter. I, I wish I would have found out about this a long time ago. Um, I didn't and it's okay because I, I know now and so when you know better you do better right right and, and, so. and I just wanted to say really quickly because we were talking about your sciatica and my scoliosis yes the supplement I've been taking I've been on it six years now and I have no more back pain <laughs> and and that has been huge for me because they wanted to do surgery on me and put me in a brace and I've been able to avoid that and it was developed to get rid of, of joint discomfort and, and joint pain and it's because as we age we stop making certain things in our body and so we basically become depleted and so there are certain things that we can take that restore that and can help us get rid of you know things like that and the supplement I found helps with other things like people's hair has, has grown back. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> and that's the one that I'm going to start suggesting to my clients as well, too, because we need help with that. And if we can get a double dose of that, we can get rid of some of this pain in our body and gain hair. Wow, what a, you can't beat that, you know. And my mom well, and it has, makes uh, your skin nicer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. So we it have a great benefit. We need to know what that is, uh, Nancy. Can you tell? So, so it's, um, it's just, this is what I've been taking. It's liquid biocell, and okay. uh, it actually tastes good, and it's a liquid, but it restores hyaluronic acid, chondroitin sulfate, and collagen in a cellular way that's absorbable by every cell in your body. And uh, if you want to look at the website, I have a link on my website on my recommended products page. If you go there and it's all products that I use myself in the top left hand corner of the very first recommended products page, you'll, you'll see it and there'll be links. If you, uh, uh, could you, you live outside the U S so it's got a Canadian link and a Japanese link and a European. Okay. Link in Australia. So, but it is, um, I think one of the best supplements I've, I've found for staying healthier and, and feeling better as, as we age. Um, how do you think, do you think it would help with uh, going through menopause? I do. I do because I think so many things in menopause are our body transitioning to be able to uh, be at a different place, but also as we age, we lose certain things. And if we can restore those, it can really help with some of those negative symptoms and things that you can experience. And I'm being 63. I think also your diet is important. And on my blog, I have a really good okay. article on menopause and how you can uh, eat better for that. But I've never had any menopause symptoms. And I think part of it is eating 
a cleaner, healthier diet that's wow. more plant-based that can help with that. Okay. So can we get the site uh, to that? Because <laughs> I'm just, you yeah. know, for our viewers right now, um, can we have that information? So my, my website is organic healthy life life.com and uh, you can contact me there and ask me any questions and uh, also if you use the link on my website for ordering the liquid biocell it will give you ten dollars off your first order and also um I'll, you can contact me and i can help you if you have any questions and and problems hey so uh, ladies out there, we've learned some of the most natural ways ever to take care of ourselves and to, you know, uh, get our bodies uh, in better shape, our minds sharper. Because uh, I do know from taking, oh my God, the experience from taking the gabapentin with the Motrin, with the Norco was a horrible experience. And uh, Nancy, you're very right when you said it, it frightened me really badly because I was actually forgetting things and I have one of the sharpest memories as a person that I know I can remember anything and everything like they always say Helen you have an elephant brain but for that time I couldn't remember things I'm and I'm not talking about like things long away I'm, I mean the next day like I was forgetting is this Wednesday or Thursday or uh wait a minute did I do that already or just really confused and it was a horrible experience because um you know it, for me, it was a horrible experience. I, I never want to go through that again. So I would think, ladies, if you could do something for yourself and do something very natural for yourself and uh, without all of these horrible, what do you call them, Nancy, not side effects? Well, Dr. Bruce Lipton would say they're <laughs> direct effects. <laughs> You're right. They are direct because I directly forgot everything. <laughs> it wasn't a side effect. It was direct. I couldn't remember anything. So um, just, I feel good about it. I can help my mom with some things because she has fibromyalgia. There's no cures for that. Uh, there are so many natural things that Nancy does. And just like I said, you can get 35 years in these books of someone's experience and uh, who's helped many people, celebrities, everyday regular people like us, um, women, men, just helping people all over the world. You can't beat it. So uh, Nancy, I thank you so much for being here today on the She Compass Show. Um, the She Compass Show was in, it's in, it's very much inspired by the book uh, Finding Our She Compass, and so all of this came about after writing that great book. Um, it's just wonderful the things that are happening on this podcast, and we're finding out so many wonderful things that we can do. And I want to thank you so much, Nancy, for being with us today, and. I'm going to have you recite your social media one more time, believe it or not, because we thought we were going to end the show before, but we kept talking because you're so great. You have so many wonderful things. I could talk to you all day. So could you do that one more time for us? Sure. It's, my website is organichealthylifelife.com. And you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Nancy G, like G, the letter G, Addison uh, or on Facebook at Nancy Addison Organic Healthy Life and, and we can get your wonderful books there you. as well and you can find my books on my website or on Amazon and Barnes and Noble I have the author page on Amazon Nancy Addison and so you find all six of my books there uh, raising healthy children diabetes in your diet lose weight get healthy and never be on a diet again Alive and cooking and the tube feeding recipe and then the how to be a healthy vegetarian is in its second edition And it's won six awards including the one where I met you. You know so. what Nancy? I think we're both uh, country girls uh, Me being born in New Orleans. I think we need to get together and have a little cook show and show people how to make some of this food <laughs> and um, Just show them how to eat healthy since we both grew up on fried chicken <laughs> And a lot of people out there may think that this may be a hard transition. It's, it's really not. Um, after a while, you start to learn uh, what some of these foods are doing to your body. Um, and so the transition becomes pretty easy. 
uh, believe it or not, take it, like I said, from Sugarhead, number one. Uh, and then Nat is, uh, Nancy being, I guess, no, Nancy, you're Sugarhead number one. Cause yeah. you, you, you dropped <laughs> I was sh definitely a sugar <laughs> addict half <laughs> my life. <laughs> yeah, I'm sugar head number two. So um, once again, thanks, Nancy, for being on the show. Uh, you have some great information that is, is going to help these women out here and all of us navigate these tre tumultuous waters and become captains of our own ship. Um, I would like to say that you can find me on social media at Instagram and at SheCompass.com. Twitter is SheCompass at SheCompass. Facebook is at SheCompass, uh, sorry, at She slash Compass. So yeah, you know, being a little bit dyslexic there, I'm pretty good. I'm, pretty, I'm getting good at this, but um, I appreciate you so much, Nancy. And thank you for having uh, yourself on the show, my sister, all the love and, uh, I hope you sell many books. I'll tell you why, because we need it. We need oh, it. You're so sweet. Uh, it's been my pleasure and my honor to be on your show. And I just love my soul sister, Helen. Oh, oh I love you too. <laughs> and I'm just wrapping my arms around you right now. And thank you for all the help you're giving me. And thank you for being uh, the captain of my ship today, because I really need you in my life. And that's what this show is all about. We can all show women how we can help another woman be the captain of her ship. So thank you so much, my sister, for being on the show today. Thank you.